what was the most NSFW thing your teacher did? Talked about how she gave her excited puppy hand jobs to calm it down. WTF. Two teachers got suspended and fired for having X in our school theater. Side note. One of them was married to another teacher at the school. They all worked in the English department. More like the drama department. I don't remember her name at the moment, but my 8th grade science teacher wore a black leather bodysuit and the whole cat get up, ears and a tail. I think we dissected something, boners, as far as the eye could see. I was taking a bio test in college and a girl had a pretty interesting tattoo on her shoulder half covered by her top. The professor walking around saw the half tattoo and pulled down her top slightly to see the rest of it without asking. She was shocked and half the class saw and he snapped out of it and knew he fucked up and just said nice then walked to his desk. I'm pretty sure she just wrote it off as him being quirky and decided not to tell the board cause he wasn't suspended or anything. Was he a creep or a genuine oh fuck I didn't mean it like that. I honestly don't think it was anything exil and he was interested in the tattoo cause he never did anything like it in the years I knew him. I think he's generally a goofy guy but that day he realized he fucked up. Had a French teacher that brought in a French woman. Prostitute. Sat at the front of the class. On top of a desk. Short skirt. We learned a lot that day. But none of it related to the language. Did you learn how to read lips? My gym teacher in elementary school had exil relations with one of our classmates moms whilst in his office. Attached to the gym. Where he had a class of second graders running laps. At least it wasn't a teacher student affair. I read gym teacher in elementary school and immediately thought oh no. Catholic high school. He was our morality teacher, and the lead singer of a band with Rexel innuendo so he's a real dual threat. He ended up being an assistant coach for our track team and went to one of my friend's graduation parties and they had X. She was 18. Same guy also took me and three others to Hooters on a trip to a track meet out of state. Got too drunk. Got the waitress's number and we had to drive the short bus back to the hotel for him. Morality teacher was lesson one to ignore that book those Catholics go on about. Told the class at an all boys Catholic school that she gave up giving blow jobs for Lent and that she misses giving it. I'm guessing all those boys who had given up fapping for Lent gave up that same day. The band director had exil relationships with three different girls at the same time. One was 18 the other two were minors and the chorus teacher embezzled 40k over 5 years. If it's one thing he's good at it's fingering a minor. My teacher and the principal were in the closet making babies and I saw one of the babies and the baby looked at me. A teacher at my high school sold weed to a student and also had ex with him. Plot twist. You were homeschooled. Put too much sodium in a 4L beaker of H2O. It exploded in spectacular fashion, emptying the water onto the ceiling, where it fell all over her and soaked her blouse. She had nice nipples. That's an SFW in both senses of the term. Excellent. I do hope her nipples didn't sustain caustic burns though. One of my teachers was fucking a student. They are now married with kids and she still has the job. I should clarify that at the time he was around 17 or so and she was in her early 30s. One of my teachers was having X with a senior football player. I was in 8th grade, but we were combined middle high school. We always just thought it was a rumor. Until one day her husband came home from work early and caught them. He was friends with my dad and came over to our house and was telling him about it. I think they were outside, and I happened to walk outside and hear enough to know it was true. She just retired like 2 years ago and I graduated in 96. My photography teacher in high school decided to use the developing lab for his personal project, but left the negatives behind in one of the projectors. That day, several photos were printed off by students and pasted up on the walls around the school. They were of the teacher and his girlfriend in various phases of copulation, some of which included suspension bondage play and many close-up penetration shots. He lost his job and was subsequently run out of the district. Coincidentally, this opened up a period for me so I could join the new breakdancing class for pay credits. My school was pretty fun. Cha cha real smooth. This was way back in the 70s when overhead projectors were commonly used. One teacher, charmingly referred to as sandbags, frequently did not wear a bra on warmer autumn and spring days. 
but it was always cool in the classroom. She would lean over that bright surface and light up the pointy works. It was absolutely glorious. This was way back in the 70s when overhead projectors were commonly used. As late as 2010 they were still in common use. Probably still are. Sorry for the formatting. I'm on mobile. But this story is fucking crazy. I had this English teacher during my sophomore year who I actually looked up to before the incident. He was funny. A good teacher. Had a pretty cool beard. And was pretty cool. There was also this girl in my class who I thought was really pretty and I had a bit of a crush on. My teacher and the girl got along really well. And honestly it made English class really fun. Fast forward a year. And that same teacher was arrested for having exal relations with the student. No name was stated but everyone knew that it was the pretty girl in my class. Especially since she moved out of the state that year. It turns out that the teacher wrote a fucking contract to give the girl a B in the class in exchange for exal favors. He even left a note on her desk with candy that said, and I quote, I would smash you in tooth and powder, mix you with water and drink it. The teacher's wife, who also taught at the school, was pregnant at this time and prematurely went into labor when the news broke. I don't think they are married anymore. Since this was about 5 years ago, I stopped looking up to him after that. That's really sad omg. I hope the, ex, wife is okay. Nobody deserves news like that, especially when pregnant. I was taking the sat in 7th grade. It was some advanced program in Pinellas County, and the lady who was overseeing the test at the site was handing out papers and randomly said glad there aren't any Mexican kids in here. It was really weird, and all the kids just stared at her until she awkwardly continued handing out the test. Sorry, I'm mendations. Had a youngish female ex-ed teacher in grade 8, who stated that girls can ejaculate while orgasming. When questioned about it she described her own experience with the phenomenon of squirting. The boys in the class kept asking for more and more detail. She didn't last long. And neither did the boys. There was one teacher who would get really close to the female students when talking to them and stroke their hand and stare really intensely at them. He seemed to do it more with the socially awkward girls. I guess he thought they were less likely to say anything. He was once found handcuffed to a student after school had finished for the day and managed to play it off as a joke gone wrong. The sad thing was he was an absolutely brilliant teacher. People loved his classes and because of that people were less likely to bring up what a creep he was. Yikes. Went to Catholic school. A young early 20s. History teacher would always smile at me and knew my name. He taught freshmen my junior and senior year, kind of creeped me out but being a good Christian I was polite. I went to a commuter school lived in a major city, and my first week of college I ran into him at the bookstore. He actually grabbed my waist from behind and held me. He told me how excited he was to see me and asked if I was interested in going out with him first words out of his mouth. On a date, I was shocked. Personal space didn't exist. I said I was seeing someone and quickly apologized and he said when that ends, here's my number call me. He didn't realize the two people who I was with were girls from my high school. We were all creeped out. He ended up marrying a former student of his 6 years later. So he played the numbers game and it worked awful. Guess he wasn't fired as well. My German teacher showed us a video of how to skin an alligator in class. Really ruined appetite for lunch. I know many Florida men who would be interested in this information. Not a teacher. The principal. Fought a special ed teacher. In front of a very special ed student. Who just so happened to be rigged with a camera for some reason. Long story short. Both resigned and not that many people know about it. I guess there was an NDA. Didn't make the news or anything. Kinda strange. If he was wearing a camera. It could mean he was coming back home with signs of abuse or something. And that he either wouldn't say or couldn't express himself correctly so they rigged him up to see what was happening to him. Operating the bandsaw without safety goggles. One time a student distracted the teacher and he ended up almost chopping his entire finger off. Very NSFW. Spanking it to page 0rn on the computers at the school library. Back when the internet was still reasonably new and not in every household. He should have picked a time where he was sure everyone was gone cause he got caught by three students. I thought if I used incognito mode, nobody would be able to see me. 
In high school my cheer coach was an active page 0 RN star. She was actually a really good coach we went to nationals and were the first team from our town to place at state. It was honestly awesome guys fell all over her and she used it to upgrade our rooms at hotels and get extra meal tickets because we were all poor kids from a border town. The best part was when it went public we were featured in National Enquirer. Honestly she was the best ex ed teacher anyone could have had but it wasn't like she taught us how to be sluts just like answered more stuff about our anatomy and debunked a lot of the high school rumors that always went around. We all still keep in contact it was a shame when the town found out they actually shamed the fuck out of her and she really didn't deserve it. In Australian high schools we have form classes where you get read the daily news and the roll gets marked off for the day before you go off to your subjects. My grade 8 form teacher was hot AF and always dressed quite provocatively. She was very popular among the boys at that school. She got fired after getting caught blowing a pair of grade 12 guys in the art block. They were both 18 so the law didn't get overly involved. I was 3 extremely jealous of those lads. 3 extremely. Looks like you accidentally 1337 ed. She fucked my dad. I'm homeschooled. Plot twist. His grandmother homeschools him. Small town small school. This teacher got one of his students pregnant. Ended up marrying the student's mom. They passed the kid off as their own. Then he became principal of the high school where he met his kid's mother Ugg. Edit. Trying to fix the drunks pulling. What no way this is legit. In high school, one of the teachers would buy weed from the janitor and they'd smoke together with a few guys that were in 12th grade. It was a small group that trusted each other and would get high during lunch in the far end of the student parking lot. I found out that a few years after graduating one of those students was arrested for international dog smuggling lol. Last year of HS we went to Montreal for a few nights for our senior trip. The chaperone assigned to my group was our AP physics teacher. And this was his first year at the school. Younger guy. I had taken advantage of this guy in AP physics all year long. But not in a terrible way. The class about propulsion I convinced him to let us strap the model rocket engines to twigs and other scraps. Another class turned into an actual drag race on a farm road, etc. I don't know if he was trying to gain favor so I wouldn't F with him as much, or if he was just close enough in age that he wanted to seem cool. But he brought me and a few friends to a strip club one night in Montreal and bought us drinks all night. Didn't concern me at the time, but it's pretty weird when I think back on it. Went to office hours for extra help and we were barely working for 5 minutes then he touched me on my cheek and thanked me for my professionalism never packed up my sheet and left so fast. Wear a black, lacy thong and make a point to bend over in front of me several times. You had father Michael for geometry too. Take class to the auditorium and fire his flintlock musket so we could hear it. For my class he accidentally loaded a ball in with the powder he pre-made his cartridges. And when he fired the clock above the exit exploded. Married one of his former students and was generally sorta of weird around the girls in his class. Most of those girls were into him too and the weirdest thing I ever saw him do was help this girl stretch after she asked him to. That happened at my HS too. My. Female. Drama teacher in grade 12 once wore a set of plastic breasts over the top of her clothes and gave us all the shock of our lives when she entered the classroom. I also went to a private catholic school, so that's double NSFW. I mean, you don't really get more dramatic than that, and since they were plastic, it wasn't really wrong. Junior high pay teacher coach sold anabolics and got busted in a sting. My biology teacher in 8th grade brought her own dildo to class to demonstrate how to put on a condom. The school had more than enough wooden demonstration fallacies. She then went on to explain to us that she liked the ribbed condoms the best because they stimulated her G-spot the best, and proceeded to show us on a diagram where the G-spot is, which isn't bad. But I don't want to know about your condom choices. 